Bye. Hi, everybody. This is our November director Zoom chat. Thank you for coming. It is um, the 14th of November, and I'm sure everybody's starting to get ready for their holidays and uh, working hard on their businesses. It's all good. It's all good. You're in lots of good things. Lots of good things. And first, I, run, I want to say to Lori, thank you so much. Everybody's been really enjoying all your notes that you shared with us about um, the virtual parties. Really very thankful for your sharing attitude. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, and I see, uh, Glenn, okay, Glenna, I see you're, uh, you're at the ceiling here. Okay, um, all right, uh, we had a director meeting yesterday, and um, some of the things we were talking about is um, just helping people get the uh, still booking shows in November and December and some of the shows that um, are very successful at this time of year. Of course, we talked about how Thanksgiving is early this year. And so um, a lot of people uh, decorate the weekend after Thanksgiving. So they've got a whole month literally before um, Christmas comes. So really encouraging people to have a wine, chocolate, a wine, cheese, and chocolate show or a cookie event. Um, and I'm sure you guys probably all know about this, but I want to remind you about how um, you can have a cookie class that everybody brings, everybody pre-orders a sheet or a cookie pan, a large cookie pan, and, or a large sheet pan, excuse me, and then um, a, a small scoop, all right? And if they have those, then you order other things for them, you know, like the, the uh, silicone mat, another cookie sheet. There's other things that you can substitute. But they bring four tubes of sugar cookie dough each. Does everybody know about this? Mm -mm. Okay. No, a couple don't. Okay. So you bring four tubes of sugar cookie dough. You bring a large bowl and something to move it with, okay, um, like a big, you know, mix and uh, – mix and scraper and then the um the organizer of the show assigns each person a type of uh ingredient to put in like one person brings dried blueberries and a lemon um and then somebody else brings raspberry extract and white chocolate chips uh, another person brings toffee bits another person brings chocolate chips and oatmeal um, and so they, and the whole list is on PC team training, okay, dot com, and it's the cookie uh, uh, show. Um, and what you do is each person puts together their four rolls and their ingredients, mixes it all up, and um, everybody makes 120 of the little round cookies, and then everybody goes around and takes however many people are there. You, you split the 120 cookies into however many participants you have and they go home with those unbaked cookies on their cookie sheet okay or in their in their um excuse me their uh their pan their sheet pan and they bring those home and freeze them and then they can take cookies out to bake them as as they need them and people absolutely love it because they usually end up going home with you know like 12 different kinds of cookies. The goal is to have 10 different people there, 12 kinds of cookies. Um, and it's just, or 10, 10 people, 12 uh, cookies of each, excuse me. So 10 different kinds. And um, Tina did it last year and the year before. And this year she's got four classes at her house, four of them uh, that week uh, after, after uh, Thanksgiving. And she said it's really easy. Everybody brings their bowl. So they bring home their bowl as well. So it's not like she's pulling out all this stuff and then has all these dishes afterwards. And she said people are signing up like crazy, bringing them. And um, it's about a 40, I, I want to say she said it was a $48 buy-in that they get the cookie sheet and the scraper and then a lot of times people will add things. She'll say, is there anything else you need for gifts or for your cooking uh, before, so we can have it in the one uh, $5.25 um, shipping. 
So um, I wanted to remind you all about that, uh, especially if you have some people that are is saying, I can't get bookings, I can't, you know, so they can do their own event. Um, has anyone else done it? And um, no, anybody else done done the cooking? No, show? but I will. I love that idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Good idea. And it's it's really something you'd think that they would all taste like sugar cookie base. You know, like they would just taste all like sugar, and they don't when you put the other stuff in. Or well, you've done it. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, and they really don't. So uh, just want to encourage you, you can do the snickerdoodle, you can do, you know, just all kinds, uh, put some peanut butter in part of it. And by the way, if you get the big rolls of cookie dough, it's two and a half rolls of the large cookie dough rolls, okay? Otherwise, it's four of the regular size. But lots of fun, lots of fun, and you know, you can, Dip them in the sprinkles and and they're ready to roll and what I love about it is you don't have 120 cookies baked at once that now you're freezing be already baked because it changes the texture and starts to dry them out it's fresh baked cookies and it's really nice when the kids come home from school or you know, all of a sudden you have some unexpected company and uh, oh oh please let me throw some cookies in the oven <laughs> right? mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so what other shows are you talking, are you doing and talking about to your team? I don't know, with that, but with that um, kind of party, um, and you know, uh, you just say, well, what else would you like for $48? I mean, yes. <laughs> is that what, basically what you do? Yeah, when, when you, if they already have the sheet pan and the scoop, you ask them if they'd like another, um, another sheet pan, um, maybe the new large one or the half sheet pan, um, or you can, um, the silicone mat. There's other baking stuff, the flour sugar shaker, you know, usually do some of that stuff to make the class still be the, you know, it's around $40 uh, plus the tax and shipping. Can you just kind of tell people that they, um, in order to do the class, that the requirement, or I don't know how to word it politically correct, but yeah. is to place a $40 order. That way they're not um, locked into feeling that they have to buy the cookie sheet or something else. I mean, I like the idea of that, but for like whoever that was that said that about, um, if they don't need that, yeah, like could you uh, just say the requirement, you know, it's, it's a $40 fee product. Um, it is. Uh, the, the thing is, they need to go home with that cookie sheet with the sides so that the stuff doesn't fall all over. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to put those cookies in rows on there. So, and then just. Cover okay. It. So it's kind of like a tray that they're using. It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, and what size uh, cookie sheet is that? That's the large, just the yes. large. Uh, mm -hmm. sheet large, pan. large sheet yeah, pan. Yeah. The large sheet pan. And, um, it's not the half sheet pan, it's just the large uh, sheet pan. Um, okay. And a lot of times, you know, almost everybody can use another cookie sheet. There's at home or right. really crappy, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, hi Sandy, how are you? I'm good. Good, good. So, um, so anyway, um, we wanna, um, you know, encourage you to do that. And have everybody bring stuff. It's really fun. It's really fun. And you can have some wine and you can, you know, just make a simple hors d'oeuvre and, uh, or, you know, maybe even show them the bunt cans. Um, you know, those, those are really popular here because we have these stores that are called Nothing Bunt Cakes. Um, that's the name of the store. And they literally only sell bunt cakes. And they sell those little ones for 5 to $6 each. Wow. So, yeah. So the cost of one pan is less than the pan, you know, plus a batch of uh, cake is less than buying six of those little cakes. So, yeah, mm. awesome. So what else are all of you doing? Cheap pan dinners, or well, one, one pot meals. One pot meals, awesome, awesome, awesome. So tell me which ones you're, which ones you're doing. Um, 
well, it's kind of my own sheet pan dinner with chicken, potatoes, and green beans. Um, and you mix up a pack of zesty Italian, the dry packet mix, and a couple of our seasonings, mix that together, sprinkle it over top of the whole thing. Melt half a stick of butter, pour that over it. Aluminum foil in the oven, 400 for 30 minutes, and it's perfect. Um, and then the other one I'm doing is a uh, Freyal. She's doing a Tuscan chicken thing in the one in the all-purpose all pot. So I've been making that, and that's been a huge hit. But it's yeah. just all one. I'm I'm doing all one pot meals. Good. Did you um, see the sheet we made on that, Lori? Did you see the real pretty sheet with the list of products and the list of ingredients and the picture? Uh, I might have missed it. I'll go look for it though. Yeah, it was uh, it was emailed out, and it's definitely on PC Team Training. We took that recipe and prettied it up with Fairy Y'all's blessing. Oh, okay. okay. I just had the one from the retreat because she, okay. she she did it at uh, Grace's retreat. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So. Yeah, I um, that it looked like a really great recipe. It's awesome, is it? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And where where can we get that recipe? Is it on the team training? It is. Okay, thank you. It's called the Tuscan spaghetti, right? Yeah, I use penne though, but yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I, I can't be bothered to break the spaghetti in half. Well, you don't have to. You don't <laughs> I have hear you. It's an all-purpose pot. No, but. It's easier to eat. Like yeah. I like to use the penne. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. I know that others are doing things. What What else are you making at this time of year? I'm doing a lot of. Uh, my whole theme is one pot, and I I always offer about six or seven different options. Uh -huh. And for the last two weeks, everybody's been choosing the uh, the fajitas, fresh salsa. I do it right in the um, uh, rock crop, uh -huh. add on um, whipped cream at the end, and it's, and it's done. And people, I don't know, they just enjoy Good. lots of accessory products you can add on. Uh-huh. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hold on one second, guys. I got to grab a file. So I have a question. Are you, what are you doing with the whipped cream? Just whipping it? It has nothing to do with the fajitas. No, it has <laughs> nothing to do with the fajitas. No, it's just, <laughs> I thought that wouldn't be good together. to go. I've never a new twist. It. <laughs> it, just, it, it just goes with the dessert, that's all. You can call it sweet fajitas. <laughs> there you go. Sweet feet. <laughs> just, just an add-on, just to, um, you know, round it out because people, you know, the whipped cream is a jaw dropper, so, you know, people mm -hmm. enjoy it. Great, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was just looking for something. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Angie, what are you doing at your shows? You're having a ton of shows. Um, I, I am. I, I need to do some one pot shows. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know the theory: if it is, ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. So I, I've done um, the grilled chicken nachos a lot. I have done chicken bruschetta pasta. I have done barbecue, uh, barbecue chicken sliders. I've done the fajitas, just a variety. I don't really stick to one thing. It kind of depends on who I'm partying with and how old they are and what yeah. kind of thing they like. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. But I, I will try that Tuscan chicken in the all-purpose pot because I love the all-purpose pot, but I'm guilty. I've never brought it to a party. So really, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a rock crock. I love the rock crock. I sell them like crazy with the slow cooker stand. And I mean, it's a higher dollar value, but I'm willing to give it a try for the all-purpose pot. I, I'll tell you what, I, um, that's, I go for that over my family skillet now all the time. Oh, so do I. I don't remember the last time I've used my family skillet. Yeah. 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 So the all purpose pot, absolutely love it. Um, and with it on sale at $195, uh, it's $3 and 75 cents a week for one year. If you want to give up one Starbucks coffee a week, you can own that pot at full price. All right. So just, I, that's one of the things I would say. 
You're okay. All right. Anybody else doing anything different? No? Okay. All right. Um, just this is, this is Naomi. I'm a Johnny come lately. Just cut the baby down for a nap, so I'm just joining in late. Okay. What are you doing at your parties, Naomi? Um, well, we're doing um, the cake and bake cookie workshops coming up, a couple of those. Okay. Uh, Tina Dalton did uh, a training on that. I guess the original idea came from someone in Marie's uh, uh, team. But, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, something fun to get people going. And you get the pre-orders, but then, you know, it's like Tina says, lots of times you'll get like a second, you know, because when people are there, they end up buying more. Yeah. And then um, in January, I'm, uh, for a lot of people who are kind of new and at first time hosts, as opposed to just calling it one pot meal, I'm just calling it dinner made easy, you know, and I'll do like the, I'm planning to do like chicken bruschetta pasta and doing the chicken breast in the deep covered baker and the rest in the, the rock crock, you know, so Dinner made easy is kind of a, um, just using that as a, as a term for when it's not a one pot meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good. Yeah, we just talked about Tina, uh, Tina's cookie show. She shared it at, uh, at the um, meeting yesterday. So great. Yeah, and that'll be up on um, PC team training. Remember, it's Dream 17. Um, for the um, password, okay. Um, are any of you planning on going to the retreat in Austin, Texas uh, with Marie and Patty? Um, I put that up, I know Sharon is. If anybody else is planning that, we need to know just because. I would like to go. I just saw a who's interested, but never anything else. So well, if there is official stuff, I'd like to get that and sign up. We need to, um, I think there was a thing about sending $25 in to hold your spot. Oops, I never saw that. Okay. I, I have $25. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can work it. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you can. I'm a really good budgeter. I'm the CFO of the Adams family. So you, had, you had a big month last month. You can afford Yeah, I can get it. Get it for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Um, okay. I'll talk to you about that and find out. Okay. I definitely want to go. Good. And I know Sharon is, is planning on going. So if anybody else is, I know that there's, there's some different retreats in different areas of the country. Remember, I'm not doing one in January. I'm going to visit a whole bunch, okay, of different ones this year. I'm going to be in South Carolina with Sandy. Um, Sandy, do you have any extra room at your house? You know what? I haven't reserved the house yet because I'm trying to get a more of a head count. So okay. if we have people that want to come, I would love to open it up and get a house as big as, as we need. Okay, so um, Sandy's in South Carolina, so if anybody is... It's the um, 19th through the 21st, so right. it'll be near Charleston. Ooh. Yeah. Can we go to more than one? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, for sure. What is the date of Austin? Austin is uh, the 20... <laughs> 25. 25, or 20... I went to say 20. 25 through 27 of February. Okay. All right. Oh, February. Okay. Yes. Yeah. See, I even wrote it already. You did. All right. There we go. I'll, uh, I'll put something up again about retreat. Okay. All right. When is the Charleston one? It is the 2019th to the 21st of January. I was just getting ready to type that back out. Yeah. January. Nope. Okay. I'll be in, Ar in Antarctica. I can't make it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It'll be a lot warmer. Uh, yeah. It will be a lot warmer, I'm sure. Yeah. That there, you awesome. there you go. All right. Nancy Joe, I've also signed up um, at the end of January to go to the Cinch Share. I can't say it. Cinch Share Convention. Summit. Nice. Is, yeah. It's, I've never used Cinch Share. <laughs> And I don't know if I ever will, but they promoted it as just a good social media training. And I mean, I'm pretty good on Facebook, but everything else is just very random. So uh -huh. um, they said, just come and learn. And yeah. it's in my backyard. So there's a few of us that are going and we've 
got a condo and we're going to make a weekend out of it. And where, what, where is that and when? That's in Orlando. And that is Jean. It's the last weekend, January 26th through the 28th. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And they're, it was very cheap. I mean, it was like $125 and it's actually reimbursed from Pampered Chef as, um, was that thing called Actually, development? development. Oh. Professional development. Yeah, it's, it's reimbursed for that, or at least the hundred dollars of it is reimbursed. Good. That um, so they did. We got that approved. Great. Good. Well, that's and that's really cheap. So, and does that include your um, your hotel at all? No. No. Okay. That's it's just the actual summer. conference. And it's really not, uh, they're saying it's not a really long, all day drawn out conference. Okay. They, a big draw to having in Orlando is that people come and they want to spend some time at Disney. So it's kind of like a 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 8 to 2, something like that each day. Uh -huh. So at least the evening's open. So nice. nice. I could have stayed at home, but mm, that's boring. <laughs> right. No, it's <laughs> more fun to do it the other way. Who's all going? Um, on, you're asking me. I thought you were asking the people on the call who else is going. No, I'm no. sorry. I'm going and Alice Goodell is uh -huh. going and Sherry uh -huh. Eisinger right now. Those are the three. Nice. Bobby said she was going too. Oh, is Bobby going? Okay. I didn't know yeah. she was officially going. Okay. Bobby yeah, Lynn. She asked me and I'm like, I'm not back in time. I can't go. Yeah. We had also asked Danielle and um, Nicole and the whole crew. So nice. She didn't, didn't ask me. Oh, uh, Lori, you want to come? Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So um, I just wanted to also let you know, um, you know how we did that. You can change anything in the fall worksheet this, uh, the, the past um, couple of months. And we've been working through, um, you know, building your calendars, if that's what you're, what you need to do. Um, well, I took that sheet and I, um, I enhanced it. Okay. I now call it build your future choices, calendar connections. Okay. And on one side, I did it for one page for the quarter. So I can, uh, when I'm talking with you all, um, uh, I can keep track of everything in one, on one page for each quarter of the month. And um, it has a place for your monthly goals, okay? Um, and then what you actually do for the January, February, March, April, May, June, whatever quarter it is. And it's got where a place where you can circle which quarter, what you have scheduled, the two dates of your calls. And I, I'm encouraging you all to do this in pencil so you can change it or put lines in between so that you can write multiple times uh, how much you ended up submitted how many recruiting appointments we're, we're really going to try and work on recruiting this next year um, and how, how many recruits appointments you had recruits and then how many qualified because the qualification is just as important as the recruiting as we all know um, <clears throat> on the back side um, how much would you like to earn I still have that calculation because I think with the income calculator um, it can really help us walk through these, uh, these calculations and then what are your uh, annual and monthly goals for the following categories. Um, so that will be uh, emailed out to you. You can, I would highly encourage you to do it with any of your producers on your team. Um, you might not necessarily want to do it with every hobbyist that uh, doesn't want more, but if you walk through that income calculator with your people, even your, you know, I, I'm going to try and make an appointment with each person so that um, it's up to them. Do they want more? Because think about if one person who's only doing one show every other month all of a sudden decides to do two shows in a month. That's like four people doing a show every other month. Okay. So... <clears throat> If you can get a few of your hobbyists to move to do being a consistent once a month or twice a month and then show them the difference in their income, okay? Um, I think, have I had a, a, an appointment with everybody about the income calculator at this point? I think so, right? Uh, yeah, I, I haven't uh, connected up with you, Kay. 
Um, Leanne, I think I need to connect up with you as well. But, um, but yeah, uh, what are you guys thinking? Did it encourage you? It was eye-opening. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I, I, was, I was like shocked at what the numbers were. Just small changes. Small changes make huge difference, especially with host coaching, you guys. That's the one, it's the one area that I saw almost changes everything because if there's more people in the room, you have the opportunity to book more shows, to sell more, have a higher party average, and then, of course, more recruit leads. So um, I, I really think you should work on host coaching with your teams and why it's important and get them over that I don't want to be pesty I don't want to bug anybody I don't want to tell people what to do but just really get them to realize how that is such an important part of their job because it's going to make that host successful it's not about you it's about the host having such a successful show mm -hmm. that it's going to be a great experience and her friends are going to want to do the same thing um, I'll never forget Barb Kuba when I first met her 23 years ago um, I met her at a church event, and um, I did a 15 or 20 minute uh, little healthy cooking um, little seminar, if you want to call it, or a little, you know, talk at a coffee break at church, you know, at the little co women's coffee break. And um, I let people know I'd be happy to come and do a show at their home. So Barb Kuba was one of the one gals I met, and she asked me to come and do a show at her home, but she warned me, she said, I can never get more than three to four people to come. Is that okay? And I said, well, I said, let's, let's work on it together and let's see what happens. Well, she, um, I host coached her really well. And that was before we were sending out invitations and all that kind of stuff. So it's, you know, the old fashioned way of getting on the phone and talking with them and telling them how only half the people they invite are going to come. So we're going to want to X, Y, Z, you know, that, you know, this feel. Well, she had 11 people come to her show. She was so thrilled, and she absolutely said that it was the host coaching that did it for her because she really didn't know how to host a show because everybody just says invite your friends and your family, all right? But they don't give you the, the information of why and the numbers about half the people will come, and then that night we know a couple more are going to, bug out because somebody doesn't come home from work on time or, or it's uh, Johnny's sick kind of thing. We have also found with the numbers um, that 12 people, 12 ordering guests, um, plus a few outside orders, you know, uh, is a thousand dollar show. Mm -hmm. So if we coach to 15 in the room, you're going to get your 12 guests. So, so really talk to your people about how to say that. Have them practice with each other because really host coaching cures everything. Um, and I know people have been like almost arguing with me, to be honest, with, well, it's bookings, that's the problem. And he says, yes, but if they even have one show, one show can propel your whole business. And, and that's the Chris Mannion story that I gave her that shop to you drop night as one of her first four shows. She only got one booking and $40 in sales that night when she stood at that table. And, you know, we thought it was a bust, but she kept track of that one show and it turned into over six months time. It turned into over $10,000 in sales and four qualified recruits. So that one lousy night, changed everything for Chris. And that was actually the party that propelled her business, not the other three that she had when she started. So really let people know that one party, if you have enough people and the crowd is diverse enough, diversified in the way of that you don't know the people, and, and coach your people if it's the same group over and over, give them an extra gift if you don't know five people in the room, that you've never met five people in the room, I'll give you an extra Fill in the blank, ladies, okay? Whatever you've got hanging around, all right? Um, so, but I really, really think if we hit host coaching hard, give people a lot of confidence, they're going to be able to book more shows. When their calendar is full, number one, they don't leave. Number two, they're making money. They also are recruiting when their calendar is full. Now, for some people, a full calendar is once a week. For some people, it's twice a week. For some people, it's once a month, you know? 
but whatever their measuring stick is, let's, let's go with it and try to have them feel successful with it. Because when they're feeling successful, I just said this to Carrie Ann Gomez, and, you know, she was saying that, you know, recruiting was up, but, you know, what, what's my take on some things? And I says, you know what, Carrie, you get people really happy with their show schedules. I said, you're going to see a lot more recruiting because we're an honest group of people and we're not going to say, oh, Sandy, you should try the Pampered Chat. It's not working for me, but maybe it'll work for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just yeah. not what we do. It's not who we are. So I said, but if we're feeling success, we're going to say, Sandy, you should try this. It's really filling the needs of my, my family. Come do this with me. Try the apron on. What have you got to lose? You know? But we're not going to say that if we're not feeling it. And so I think she heard me. I hope she heard me. Anyway. Um, but, uh, but, but anyway, it's, you know, that's, that's uh, I think, really, really important. And it's really, really good for you to focus in on, to kind of analyze your business and focus in on one or two things that you really need to work on, okay? And work on those things for a good three to six months and see how it changes. So with me saying that, what do you think, just off the top of your heads, are some things that you need to work on or that you wanna work on, whether it's for you or for your team? I know you're out there. I need to work on recruiting. You need to work on recruiting. Okay, let me write that down. Recruiting. Oh, I'll write it down. Oh. <laughs> I'll write it down. Hold up accountable. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I'm laughing. Who else? For me, it's always been host coaching. Host coaching? I am a lazy host coacher. Oh. Is it in what? <laughs> Let's let's explore that, Kay. Why why do you think that is? What what um, do you think about post coaching? Um, not because it's pushy. That's not it. Okay. I I I have a good show average most of the time without it. So just what would think would happen if I actually did it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exciting to see the difference? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah it, it is pretty amazing. I mean I can Personally, I can attest to when I don't do it compared to when I do. It's, you know, if, I, if I'm busy and don't get to it, absolutely. There's not as many people in the room. What else? It's host coaching. I need to do it. Host coaching for I you? Need host coaching. I need to fill my calendar. I need to recruit. I need to disseminate stuff to my team. I need to do the whole ball wax. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Sandy, what are you going to work on first? Well, I just jotted down, um, I had a show on Thursday that got postponed. So I thought, okay, I'm going to offer a training on host coaching um, based on that uh, boost your business in 30 days. That was phenomenal. And so I only had three people that I know of on my team that took it. And um, I would like the whole team to know that that stuff was amazing. It changed my thoughts on host coaching. I mean, I loved it. So anyway, it was really good. And so I'd like to, because it's only up for 30 more days, are we allowed to share that? I mean, can we share the videos with our team or that's, we're not allowed to do that? You know what? I would find that out um, because I know it was a pilot. Yeah. And, um, so I, I think we all just got two or three people on our team allowed to take it. So, cause I only had two people on mine. Well, they wanted, they, they wanted to test it and see, and they get a controlled group. So they want to see what really worked from it, but you can, you can ask. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, can I, I will. Uh, but I thought at least I could teach the concepts, whether I share the videos or not, I can teach that. So I'm going to do it in my empty spot. And um, so I'll get that started and we'll go from there. Good. Yeah. That's always a really smart thing to do. Um, whenever I used to have any kind of cancel or reschedule, I always worked in my office at night and I, I always said to Rich, um, fill a bottle of wine, you get those kids in bed by 8.30 and I'll see you at 9. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he probably prayed for cancellations. But, <laughs> 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 <you know? laughs> but I used to tell everybody, to do that. You know, don't, don't think, oh, I had to cancel and just sit in front of the TV. Still make money that night. Go to work. Go to work, you know, 
And I always used to try and put three shows on the calendar for any time I lost one. That was like my, my revenge. <laughs> If you want to call it, that was my anecdote. So I just thought, okay, I had to cancel. I'm putting three more on, you know, um, and and I wouldn't stop till I had those three on the calendar. So, what else do you want to work on? Connecting with my team more. Okay. I get so busy with myself uh -huh. that I forget I have a team too sometimes. Yeah. So. No. But then I get frustrated because I don't ever want to do anything. So <laughs> and I'm just like, forget it. Well, a really good place to start with them is um, having them do the um, what's your perfect month and then the income calculator. Put those numbers in the income calculator lease mm -hmm. and then see if they want to cha make any changes for next year. I mean, it's a perfect time of year to have those conversations with people. So that when they're seeing their friends and family over the holidays, running into people at stores, things like that, they can book those uh, December and January shows to really make that transition into the new year and um, have some new goals. I mean, everybody loves new goals for January, right? Okay. What else? This is Naomi, and one thing I'm going to do is I, I printed uh, things out from my mailing, and I'm going to do some follow-up. And you know what? I'm going to be picking up the phone because that's where I work best as opposed to just, you know, texts and emails and things like that and, uh, uh, and messenger. So um, I think that that personal question, when I reach out and, you know, and touch them, you know, by phone, I tend to do a lot better and good things happen when I pick up the phone. So that's one way that I'm going to be developing is by getting back on the phone and trying to schedule time for that each week and scheduling the time is a big thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know I've encouraged all of you to um, keep a log of what you're doing in between our last phone call and this one. And I'm going to be really anxious to uh, hear what, what are the things you're working on. Um, so if you haven't, if you haven't done it, um, be like the kids at driver's ed and make something up, okay? <laughs> right? Did your kids do that? Well, I think I drove an hour on this day and a half hour on that day. I used to, I used to just get so mad at them. Um, let me do a little bit of recognition before we go on to the next subject. Um, all right, Kay uh, Wiesner, $2,620 and a new recruit. Congratulations, Kay. Great job. Chris Kilby, $4,811. Great job. Uh, I didn't write down all the recruits. Um, two. Two. So correct me, however many recruits that uh, everybody has. So congratulations. Cool. Good job. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Pulled it out. All right. Sharon Morris, $7,146. Sharon, great job. Awesome. Thank you. Sandy Prusner, $4,478 and a new recruit. Great job, Sandy. Woo! Woo -hoo. All right. Naomi Zaccaro, $2,992. Nice job, Naomi. Thank you. You're welcome. Amy Sue, $9,630 in sales. Woo! -hoo. Woo, -hoo. Woo -hoo. Awesome. That's awesome. Glenna Richmeyer, $6,496. Great job, Glenna. Yay. Lori Gilbert, $7,925. Woohoo! Nice job. All right. Angie Adams, $12,201. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Lisa Bailey, $6,232. Nice job, Lisa. And Leanne Johnson, $3,679. Nice job, Leanne. Great job. Did I get everybody? Did I get everybody? Did I miss anybody? Okay, if I did, you point it out, okay? Um, awesome. Great job, you guys. Uh, Really came in at the end, I'll tell you. Boy, it was like that last day. 
<laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, couple of the, uh, of the other things I have for you. We have about 20 minutes left. Does anybody, first of all, have any questions for me or anybody else on the team? Before I go into this next uh, bit of training. Um, I have, this is Naomi, I had a question. Um, I've just been uh, diving into CinchShare and have hosted my own virtual here. Uh, it's just closing up now. But um, with, you know, direct ship now and really encouraging people to wait, you know, to place their orders, um, you know, till the end of it, you know, have, are people finding, you know, that really affecting the results on their, on their parties? Any tips? I'm not on direct ship now, so I can't. My 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 show my uh, orders will just sit there till I close the show, so I I can't really help you. I, I wouldn't make them. Yeah, wait. I, I would make them wait. Yeah, you wouldn't have them put their no. money right. I w I would have them place the order, and if if they win a prize, then you're just going to have to mail it separate, or just do an order for them separate, or pick flat things off of the outlet. You know that it's easy to mail as opposed to adding it to their order, which is what you would normally do if you weren't on direct ship now. I would just get stuff on the outlet, like uh, if all the best cookbook is still on there or you know, mm -hmm. anything kind of flat that's easy to mail, that's what I would just do. I wouldn't make them wait. Good point. The, um, yeah, I, I guess that's also good. talking about um, where they place an order on day two and then they want more stuff on day four, right? That sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, and you I guess you're trying to, yeah. you, you, you're trying to get them to have, you know, a, a really complete order or, you know, the best sales for you. But then I found that like uh, the interaction kind of, you know, tapers off here towards the end. And I'm like, okay, you know, um, getting reminders out there. That's, uh, that's, you know, one challenge is, uh, is, is with that, but uh, you know, we'll keep working at it here. How do, you, um, how do you get the party code? Is the party code only with the kitchen show? Correct. Party uh, shows only with the express show. Yeah, yeah the no, express it's, party it's, checkout. The express party checkout is with any cooking show, but virtual parties are supposed to be categorized as per home office as a catalog party because it's not a live show. Right. So, so you can't we're get not the supposed party. to be using the party code for virtual parties. Because that's one way around direct ship. Right. And I'm on direct ship and I'll just, I'll just say with virtual parties, I don't do prizes. My virtual parties haven't suffered. Um, I haven't had any backlash about any of that. And, um, but I don't do week long. I do one hour parties and then everybody orders at the end of the party. It's just like a live show. Oh, mine lasts 10 days. Yeah. So they just order at the end of the night, like they would at a regular party. So. Okay. Well, the one thing I did is on my outline for my virtual parties is I encourage them to make a wish list mm -hmm. and put those items into the wish list that we can then continue to use that wish list later on as a way to get around the direct ship now issue. Okay, so, so you have them build their order on the wish list instead of the sales re receipt. And yes. then they can move guest order. And then, then, then transfer back and forth. Okay. okay. Well, they right, can, I think I need to I, probably uh, promote that, the wish list part, because I got another one that's, that just started on Tuesday again, and I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we're getting the best sales for the host, you know, but also um, I wasn't even really concerned too much about the prizes, but just um, I don't want if, you know, some people keep engaged, you know, well, and others kind of like, you know, kind of taper off as far as, uh, you know, connecting with the group, and I just want to make sure that we're, um, it's real, I suppose, whenever they're ready, they should place their order, <laughs> you know, but anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Well, even on direct ship, can they place uh, products in their cart? They don't have to order, but they can no. put products in their cart. They and don't as long stay in the they cart. Count. They don't what? They don't stay in the cart. Mm -mm. The cart Ooh. will expire and it will remove everything they put in it. Mm -hmm. Even if they've made an account with Pamper Chef? Mm -hmm. That's, that's, oh, that's where the wish list. That's why you the, wish use the wish list would be list. better then. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good tip. Okay. Thank you. All right. A um, couple of the things um, that uh, we went over. We had Laura Teal and um, Jessica, her director, uh, go over some of the things that Priel had um, shared, and um, so. 
um, actually, rather than go over all these, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna post them because they're all typed out. So I'll just post them. Uh, she did, she does five host coaching calls, which I personally wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but I do do one um, at the very beginning of the show that is uh, pretty extensive. And, mo and I usually make one other one, but the rest of the stuff I do all through um, either text or email. Um, most of the rest of the stuff is about information and, you know, getting their list and things like that. But she does five, and of course she has an unbelievable show as well as um, a party average. Um, and so we will put these on, on the page um, for all the different ideas. Um, was there anything else, Lori, from that um, Grace's retreat that you thought was uh, really exceptional that you want to, you'd like everyone to know about the fall? I would make the Tuscan chicken. I mean, that was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's, where's, that, where's that recipe? It is on PC Team Training, Dream 17. Priel, uh, I think it's uh, it's Tuscan chicken. Uh, spaghetti, Tuscan chicken spaghetti. Spaghetti, right? Yeah. And you can you don't even have to break the spaghetti, but like Lori said, it is it does eat easier. Uh, yeah, that's why I use the penne. Um, she just oh, and she made this uh, it, chocolate chip sensation, but the way she does it was nothing like I've ever seen before. Um, I mean her show is definitely a wow show. It's, it's no wonder she's, you know, sold over $3 million. Uh, she uses a lot of products from all the, the different, you know, the, the different categories and stuff. Um, and she, she does a really good show. I got to be her sous chef. So I was running back and forth to the kitchen. Okay. She had you running, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what did she do different about the, Chocolate chip sensation. Um, it's thicker. Like hers ended up being like, I don't know if you can see, like yeah. that, that thick. And then she made a ganache and poured it over top. And then there was homemade whipped topping. I mean, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Did she slice it like a cake almost? Yes, it was like a cake. Okay. Um, it, that was just incredible. But it looked phenomenal because, you know, there was the, the cool whip and yeah. Wow. Now, um, one question, how long did she cook it for? Because I had my host get me um, the cookie dough one time, and she got the three-pound tub instead of the two-pound tub, and we couldn't figure out why it wasn't cooking. <laughs> it's because we had 50% uh, more cookie dough in there. Uh, um, so um, how long did she cook it for? It was just, they just she just used a tube, and okay. we cook, we, it was cooked ahead, okay. and all, all she did was build it up you know, put the cream cheese and sugar layer, okay. and her uh, pudding layer, but it was really thick. And then she made a ganache and explained how to do a ganache. So there was a lot of information. Like it was very, um, it was a very informative show, which okay. is I think why she's so successful. All right. And I believe, I believe yeah. Laura um, Teal uh, either audioed or videoed it. And that's also with the Tuscan chicken recipe now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so you can you can hear at least hear the show if not uh, see it. It may it, Laura may have videoed it as well. Now I'm just thinking about that. She mentioned it yesterday. So good, 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 good. Anything else anybody have? Working with your team. Um, I don't. Go ahead. Oh, I just oh, this is Naomi. I was just gonna say I did. I think I shared it uh, to you by email, Nancy Joe, that I did kind of. Um, compile a, uh, a recipe file for the mini uh, fluted cake pan and also the mini pie pan. Oh, I don't know if people had seen that. No. Yes. And I used, I used the ones from home office first and I included the page in the middle after the cakes. I have a page with all the glazes. Okay. Um, and then at the very end, so if people want to, if they want to detach the ones at the end, but I did the ones, there's a PC minis, magnificent minis group. So I was, you know, putting a lot of those things in there, you know, like the pumpkin cinnamon sugar donuts and things like that. Um, and I even added yesterday the one um, with the uh, little bird seed wreaths done. In the oh, yeah, those are they're cute. Just, they're you, adorable. So that's, did you send those to uh, me yet, Naomi? 
Yeah, I, I emailed it yesterday because I sent it to my director team, and you're included on that group, um, Nancy Joe. So, um, the uh, for the it says you know uh, mini cakes and, and pie you know recipes file. So the first ones are all like the home office ones. I even have two of the pie ones from when we used to have the individual pie pans before the little tiny ones, but like the turkey pie pie and stuff. But they should still you know work for us. Um, and then the glazes, and then at the very end, the last couple of pages are all from the PC uh, Magnificent Minis group. Okay. And uh, so that uh, if people would like that, um, I will make sure. Feel yeah, free to I'm post. It. Um, I'm wondering if it went to junk mail. Did you send it to a lot of people at once? Well, I sent it to my director team. Um, uh, I can I can email it to you again, or I can just post it if you'd like. Yeah, um, go ahead and do, would you both? Would you do both? That would be awesome. I will. All right. I won't do that. One thing, I did a, a vendor event and uh, someone came up and she was looking for like 20 holiday gifts for like junior high teachers where they have so many, two kids in junior high. And we were talking about this, about, um, you know, as opposed to where, you know, with the budget, like, what can you do for $5? Mm -hmm. But then when we talked about the mini fluted pan, she's going to make mini cakes and, you know, and freeze them and then just, you know, you know, frost them right before they go in, you know, so uh, really promoting that. I thought I really needed to give people something, you know, to follow up after right. purchasing. So that's when I really was motivated to, to put this together. But uh I was kind of proud. She was really excited about having something personal and homemade, and especially with 20 people, with teachers. This is, uh, you know, a good thing. Homemade so I will really email that. Pardon? Homemade is very hot this year. Homemade is oh, the, yeah. it's the, it's the trend. Um, so um, you can, that's another class you guys can do is a bun pan class. Um, and you can, uh, he had some different mixes made up and everybody can go home with one um, and go, and you can eat, you can send the order in the next day. If there's anything else that they want for the decorating uh, tubes or the flour sugar shaker, the mats, you know, any of that kind of thing. Um, you can certainly do that uh, very easily and have a, an hour long uh, fun time at your house. You can even teach them how to make the pie crust dough and make the mini, the mini pot pies. And you can use the, um, you can all, you know, you can also use Betty Crackers, you know, pie crust, but it I think someone said it took, uh, two full packages to do the six, um, the six pies. Oh. So that's a lot of money to spend on, on pie crust with, that's just flour and water and some, you know, some shortening, you know? Um, so I think people would be interested in learning that if they had the, the, the wherewithal, but um, a great way to use those little pie things is with leftovers. You know, you've got a little bit of leftover ham and some vegetables and make up a little um, gravy. Um, you can do it with beef, you can do it with chicken and, and freeze your own pot pies, um, partially cook them and freeze them so that they're there, especially if you have uh, younger people in the house. I know my son is always looking for something fast and easy. so. I highly recommend those for, for fast and easy. So I love those little guys. And then you know what's in them too, you know? Yeah. Ones at the store, yeah. not, not so good. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I did the mini um, pies, but I just used one box to make the six. I rolled it out just a little bit so okay. that you could cut enough so that it wasn't as expensive. I did it with my cooking club and they were in heaven. So did it cover the top as well as the bottom? Yes. Oh, it did. Okay. Because they're so thick, you don't need them to be super thick. Okay. That we just rolled it out. If you roll it out a little bit, then you have enough from the two pie um, crust to do the bottoms and tops. Okay. All right. Good. Good to know. Good to know. I just have had to people tell me it's two. So, um, but I, when I've had something similar to that pan, and my family really loved having homemade pot pies. Those are that's what I did when I made the ones after the hurricane when we all were there. Uh -huh. That was what I did for everybody who had pies at the house. It was I made what 12, 12 or eighteen pies so everybody could have a pie, and I rolled it. I just rolled it out a little flatter. Okay, so. cool, good, good, good. 
Did you see what Michael or um, Brian Parker did with the mini pie pan? Mm -hmm. He made Chicago style pizza. He put pizza dough in it and then put the cheese and sausage and everything and then another pizza dough and then the sauce. Those things look amazing. Yeah. yeah. My big pizza cups. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I bet that would be good. That's kind of like, um, uh, and then you, you, there's a Chicago pizza oven and grinders um, where they actually do a bowl and then you flip it over and uh, that's how your pizza is like that. So, but I bet you that would be good for sure. For sure, for sure. All righty. Well, our time is up. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me and um, congratulations, you guys, on a great month last month and uh, working hard this month and really encourage you to work with your teams with the income calculator and see what sparks you can ignite and see who wants more. And then that's the team that you'll work with for next year's growth pattern for your personal businesses uh, as well as your organizational business. And don't be afraid to reach down for those of you that have the second and third lines. If you've got some people that um, might could could use some extra attention that may make all the difference. Um, do that. It'll be worth your time because you never know when those people are going to roll up. Inheritance is a wonderful thing. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Be blessed. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, you guys. Uh, have a great time with your families. Um, I'm very excited. My son is coming in from the Navy with his family to stay with me for a week, so I'll be in a little bit of heaven. And oh, by the way, I went to um, Mayo on Thursday and got an all clear. And right. yes, everything. Yay. I said, I'm gonna, that's two doctors that have said I'm going to live till 90. I says, oh, I don't know if I want to go to 90. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much. But no, murmur's gone. Heart is working beautifully. Blood pressure is 110 over 60. I mean, probably a little too low, um, but I'm not even on a blood pressure medicine. So I said, okay, it's really relaxed now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing much better and I'm, got, I'm getting my energy back to way more than it was when I, before I went in. So I'm, I'm feeling better already. And they said by the end of the year, um, I'm going to feel like Wonder Woman. So I said, okay, I'm going to hold you to that. So thank you for all your prayers and gifts and cards. I just took my cards down. Uh, I had over 120 cards. Uh, and my son said to me, Mom, how long are you going to keep those cards up? I said, until I'm ready. <laughs> but I finally did take them down. But, uh, but I just wanted to say thank you. You guys blessed me beyond measure. And I'm looking forward to a great year, visiting a lot of you uh, this year, um, visiting with your teams, and hopefully being able to make a difference in all your lives. So you bless me um, every day, and I'm so thankful for you, and I just want you to know I pray for you guys. So thank you so much. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving everybody. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.